Yes, Mr. Kandel was he, uh, in this, you know, it's one thing very important is, it's like a slate, mind is like a slate. And if you have written something and if you are not erasing it and you keep writing over and over and over again, nothing is legible. You cannot read anything. Sometimes our mind, it becomes like that we are unable to let go and cleanse our own mind. Here, meditation definitely helps one to uh, remove those impressions from the mind, number one. Second is, uh, though the impression will be there, but it won't be act in the active form. You see, we all have memories, but if you are stuck with one memory, that is called trauma, right? So you can have memory, but see you are different from memory. This can happen through meditation. And what would really help, according to Yoga Shastra, is pranayama. And we have seen this happen. Prana has direct connection with the state of mind. See, for every emotion, there is a definite rhythm in the breath. So using your own breath, you can alter the state of mind. But unfortunately, people have ignored this dimension of, of breath. You know, breath is very vital for the mood, for the perception, for behavior, uh, behavior and their tendencies, attitude, for all this. Breath is very tangible uh, instrument to move on. So with using pranayama, using breathing exercises, you can relieve tension, you can relieve misconceptions, you can bring clarity in your mind. And it also brings the much needed uh, deep rest to the system. And rejuvenates, you feel very fresh. <laughs> because every sleep rejuvenates an individual and make him think better, perceive better. Any normal individual, you don't let him sleep for two days, his per perception will be totally blurred. His understanding will be totally faulty because he will not be able to perceive things better. So deeper the rest, good rest, can help person to perceive better. And pranayama and meditation gives this facility. Yeah. I have Thank seen, you so much, I have seen many terrorists change their mind. Many terrorists, people who are gone to the extreme of, you know, violence. Violent mindset people, they drop that mindset, they become better human beings, they behave better. This we have seen over and again.